With development from transport to communication, internet has now become a lifeline. Internet's evolution is interesting. We understand and commonly hear about terms like 2G, 3G. What are these? These focus on G. G means generation. And this generation talks about the evolution of internet. So how internet has evolved over time is explained through 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G. Recently, with the launch of 5G, let's first understand what is actually 5G. 5G has two specific characteristics. One pertains to its speed. The peak speed can reach up to 10 Gbps. The next is the low latency. Now, besides these two, one important feature is that thousands of devices can be connected at a go in contrast to hundreds of devices which is possible under 4G. Another interesting thing with 5G is the applications of 5G. 5G is a technology which is one of the latest technology in the terms of evolution of internet and can be applied to numerous aspects for example virtual reality, augmented reality, IoT which is internet of things. A good example can be connected cars. How do we explain it? A simple example could be self-driving cars. So if there are three or four self-driving cars, one of the cars would know uh, what is the traffic situation at the next stop and the other cars would follow accordingly and this can be possible through the evolution under 5G technology. So to simply have a quick understanding about these terms, uh, 1G was the most primitive. Now 1G was based on analog concept. Next to it came 2G. This was long back in 1993 and this was for the first time based on digital signals. Now, under 2G, two important things were there. First was SMS and MMS facility was available, short message texting, short message service and multimedia message service. The next was the voice quality. Now, this 2G focused on GSM technology. Here, as we said, for the first time from analog to digital signals were used and a SIM card was introduced. As we mentioned, two important features under 2G, one is the SMS, the other is the voice call. Next to 2G was 3G facility. Now 2G worked on 64 kbps, 3G was the next in evolution. This came back in 2001 and was based on the WCDMA technology with a system of CDMA. Now here, the technology of packet switching was used and uh, now, from 2G to 3G, the evolution was broadband. So the internet actually became fast. Another important feature under 3G was introduction of international roaming facility, which was not available with 2G, right? So international roaming became uh, interestingly easier. Along with that, the connectivity became stronger. So that means uh, voice calling was one of the features which was introduced in 2G. Here, voice plus video, that is audio visual. That means video conferencing facility became uh, available with the advent of 3G technology. Also, triangulation technology developed that was for the satellites. So using three satellites, the location was identified and this was used in the GPS devices, which nowadays we commonly use as Google Maps. The next in line was 4G technology. 4G technology started nearly 12-13 years back in 2009 and this 4G technology has two components, WiMAX and LTE. LTE is long term evolution. Again, it is based on CDMA technology with packet switching. However, from broadband as in the case of 3G, 4G talks about ultra broadband. Again. The speed, the peak speed under 4G can reach up to 1 Gbps, which is very high in contrast to 3G services. And the same speed under 5G, the peak speed can reach un, uh, up to 10 Gbps. 
so we can see how fast is 5g in contrast to 4g again this was the peak speed if i talk about the average speed the average speed in 4g would be 50 mbps however in 5g this turns out to be 400 mbps which is again nearly eight times faster in contrast to 4g services so this is the average speed and the peak speed that we have mentioned again with 4g there was a new segment which was introduced and this was wearable devices this technology of wearable devices was possible only with 4g being launched the next in line was 5g the technology started back in 2018 however formally inaugurated in 2022 this year now this technology talks about two important aspects which is MIMO and OFDM. MIMO and OFDM were also part under 4G. What is MIMO? Multiple input, multiple output which is MIMO technology. MIMO was also used with 4G LTE which is long term evolution and OFDM. OFDM is orthogonal frequency division multi uh, multiplexing. Again under 5G we have wireless um, internet so www is what you quote when you are browsing any uh, url now when you quote www this this possibility can go wireless with the help of 5g as we said with 5g we can have connected cars virtual reality augmented reality so applications are extremely important telemedicine future of uh, medical procedures being done remotely um, robotic methods being developed and remote controlled vehicles which is uh, we can say the self driven cars or connected cars as we said also with 5g technology we have seen high resolution of video streaming which can be possible uh, 1080p is the best stream streaming that we get with 4g with 5g we can have up to 4k video streaming that can be possible again under 5g active antennas uh, would be possible which would provide better connection and better user experience um, network slicing is another important characteristic of 5g which is again tailored to the demand so it is uh, on demand we can say and therefore 5g has much developments over the previous generations of internet after the rollout we do see few years before this technology could be extensively brought across the country initially being rolled out in few of the major cities and later on being percolated to the different elements of the or the different smaller centers in the cities so this was a quick introduction extremely important for your examination point of view if you have any questions any queries feel free to post those in the comment section and do follow the links for more information have a wonderful day ahead